is Olivier and in this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to guide you on how you can calculate NDVI using Ada's Imagine software so NDVI is used to monitor the vegetation condition and NDVI is also uh, an equation that takes into account the amount of infrared reflected by the plants. So as we know, live green plants absorb the solar radiation which is used as the source of energy in the process of photosynthesis. So uh, the values of NDVI ranges uh, uh, varies between negative 1 and 1. So the negative values of NDVI, uh, it means the value approaching to negative 1 corresponding to deep water. And value close to 0, uh, it means uh, between negative 0 .0, 0 0.1 and 2, 0.1, generally correspond to barren areas of the log, sand, snow. It can also be a banized area. So the low positive values represent shrubs and grassland, approximately 0 0.2 to 0 0.4, while high values indicate temperate and tropical rainforest. It means the values approaching to 1. So NDVI is also can be defined as dimensionless index that describes the difference between the visible and near infrared reflectance of vegetation cover and can be used to estimate the density of green of on an area of land. So when you have high NDVI values, you have healthier vegetation. And when you have the low values of NDVI, you have less or no vegetation. So uh, if you have low reflectance in the red channel and high reflectance in near infrared channel, this will add high NDVI values and vice versa. So let's check out how can do it in using Ada's margin software. So you open your software. So and, and then after you choose your subset image or another first color composite image. Then okay. So your image will be displayed then fit your image uh, fit layer to window as we see this is our image so uh, to perform our index we go to raster unsupervised and NDVI so you wait a little bit Okay, as you see for this image, the red ones represent vegetation and our NDVI will uh, range between negative 1 and 1. And we have said that negative values approaching to negative 1 corresponding to the water. Yeah, and the values close to zero uh, generally correspond to barren areas of the log, sand, or snow. It can also be a banized area. So, while it's opening, um, yes, uh, our uh, our software will automatically identifying. The near infrared and red visible visible brand. So the formula we are going to use uh, to perform our NDVI, which stands for normalized difference vegetation index, 
is near infrared minus red divided by near infrared plus red. So we choose our output file location. So um, let's call it. Uh, Call it in DVI and let's give an extension of IMG. Okay, then okay. Okay, uh, the second part you have to focus on your sensor. You choose your sensor of interest depending on the your image. First color composite image. Then uh, you can view uh, about the spatial model yes the spatial model uh, from which generate the process from the input to the output and as we see we have a band 3 as red and we have band 4 as near infrared so um yes our model is opened then you can extend our model to see what is inside and we have a different operator here okay subset image to the NDVI yeah okay let's continue uh, after after all you can click OK to process our NDVI image and you wait a little bit mm. so let me pause my video no it's processing let's wait a little bit Here we go it's done then dismiss and close so you open another view um, in order to open our ndvi image another view yes then you go to where you have stored your ndvi image here we go then you can identify uh, different areas of vegetation so let's use our inquire tool to see different values so as you see this pixel has the value of 0 to 3 which represent vegetation and the values in negative represent non-vegetation so thank you very much for watching